Hello everybody, welcome to day five. We are going to be working into the hips once again, but this time more on the outer hip, really focusing on the IT band. So it's a band that runs down from our pelvis all the way down to the shin and often causes that pain that goes all the way down into the leg, even into the ankle. The IT band is overused and not stretched properly or not um, really taken care of and given love, then that can even lead to sciatica and lower back pain. So stretching daily can really help to relieve the pain in the hips, the lower back, and the legs. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite stretches for the outer hip, and I'm sure it's gonna feel really great for all of you. So we'll get started in cow face pose, and I'll give you an, another option if this isn't available to you. Um, you'll start with your right knee pointed forward, and you're going to try to bring the left knee right on top. So it's also called shoelace pose, so you can imagine drawing the heels towards the hips, just like if you're pulling on some shoelaces. Ideally, the knees are stacked on top of one another. If there's a lot of space, you can place a block underneath the bottom knee or a pillow or blanket in between the knees. If this is completely unaccessible to you, you can go ahead and stack the shins one on top of the other. So not really sitting cross-legged, but bringing the right shin parallel to the top of the mat, and then the left shin right on top. Again, maybe one knee is lifted, you can bring a block under that. No matter where you are, you're probably feeling a nice stretch on the outside of the hips, and especially the left hip. Take a deep breath in here, and then exhale, begin to fold forward over the legs. You can walk the hands out in front or bring the forearms down towards the earth, melting the belly towards the top leg with each exhale. Take three more breaths here. slowly rising up, take a little twist to the right, and then a twist to the left, and then we'll switch legs. So go ahead and bring the right knee to face forward, the left knee rather to face forward, and the right knee on top. The heels and the ankles are towards the hips. Try to bring both hips, both glutes down towards the earth. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, slowly start to fold forward. This time we'll be feeling it on the outside of the right hip. Again, you can stay remaining seated or lengthening through the heart and upright, or with each exhale, allow the breath to draw the belly closer towards the right leg. Slowly rising up, take a gentle twist to one side, and then to the other. And release the legs. We'll go ahead and stand up. And we'll start by keeping both legs straight, taking a nice forward fold. So inhale, arms come up overhead, and exhale, folding all the way forward. If the hands touch the earth, great. If not, you can grab a block or a book, a hard book. Placing the left hand on the block, bend the left knee. We're going to keep the right leg straight, and then inhale the right arm high towards the sky. Taking five breaths here. Take one more inhale, and then exhale, fold forward, shake out the legs, and then we'll switch sides. So bringing the block into the right hand, or both hands can be on the earth. Bend the right knee, straighten the left leg, 
and inhale the left arm high towards the sky. Feeling a nice release on the outside of the left hip. One more inhale, and then exhale to the earth, shaking out the legs. This time we're going to stand up and cross the left foot in front of the right. So not directly in front, but even over a little bit more to the right, and then fold directly forward. If you can, bringing the block towards the left. Should feel quite intense lengthening on the outside of the left leg. One more full breath. Good, slowly rise. And then we'll switch sides. So taking the right foot, crossing it across the body towards the left and fold forward. Pause here if that feels good or if you'd like twisting slightly towards the right. Try to keep both legs really nice and straight here. One more breath. And slowly release, shake it out. Then we'll come on to the back. So we'll come into a supine pigeon, slowly lowering all the way onto the back. Keep the left sole of the foot on the earth and cross the right ankle over the left thigh, flexing the right foot and grab the little hole that you created, the little triangle, bring the right hand through and grab on top of the left shin if you can. If the hands don't reach, then grab behind the left thigh. Flex both feet, relax the upper body, relax the shoulders, take five deep breaths. One more deep breath. Release the hands and drop the right foot down to the left. Turn the gaze to the right, bringing the, the back and shoulders on the earth and the left hand onto the right knee. Coming back to center, bringing both knees into the chest, neutralize the spine. And when, you, when you're ready, we'll switch sides. So bringing the right foot down, cross the left ankle over the right thigh, and then grab on top of the right shin and pull the right knee against the left leg. Lengthening now the left hip, the piriformis. You should feel a nice release on the outer hip on the left side. Release the hands to the earth, bringing the left sole of the foot down to the side. Hand on top of that left knee and now pull the left knee down for a supine twist, gazing towards the left.
way back to center. Hug the knees into the chest. We'll take a gentle happy baby, grabbing for the soles of the feet, the ankles, or behind the thighs. And then rocking side to side. Releasing the hips one more time. Taking three deep breaths here. Bringing the knees into the chest. Begin to rock and roll the entire length of the spine. Coming all the way up. Taking a deep breath in. Big breath out. And now you are ready for the rest of your day. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.